this video we're talking about how to plot a polar point and then express it in a few different ways. And the point that we've been given is this point here, 3, negative 5 pi over 4. So remember that polar coordinate points are given in the form r theta, where theta is the angle between the positive direction of the x-axis and the point that we're interested in, and r is the distance of the point from the origin. So what we want to do first is deal with the angle theta. So we have the angle 5 pi over 4, which you can really think of as just pi over 4 times negative 5, right? We could pull out a pi over 4, and that would be multiplied by negative 5. So since we have pi over 4, we want to mark off our coordinate system in increments of pi over 4. So here we start at the angle 0. This is the positive direction, 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, or pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, pi, 5 pi over 4, 6, 7, 8 pi over 4, etc. But we have a negative angle, so we have to go to negative 5 times pi over 4. So if we've got increments of pi over 4, we want to start always at the positive direction of the x-axis. But then since we're going in the negative direction, we're going to go clockwise this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we get to here, 3 pi over 4 is the same as negative 5 pi over 4. So we can indicate that that angle looks like this. So that's the angle negative 5 pi over 4. And then 3, that tells us that we're going out from the origin a distance of 3, which we'll just pretend is right about here, 3 units away from the origin. So we'll say that that point there is 3, negative 5 pi over 4. Now that we've plotted the point, we need to express it a few different ways according to these parameters here. So what they want us to do is they want us to find the exact same point in coordinate space, they just want us to write it a different way. So the first way we need to write it is we need to find this same point, but theta has to be between 0 and 2 pi. So it has to be positive, and it has to be less than one rotation around the unit circle. And then r has to be less than 0. So r has to be negative. The way for r to be negative is to go on the opposite side of the origin from the point we're interested in. So this is the point that we're interested in here. If we want to find this exact same point but we need r to be negative, we're going to follow this line through the origin and go to the exact opposite side over here to 7 pi over 4. 7 pi over 4 is an angle that falls between 0 and 2 pi, so we can use that. And then if we just call r negative 3, then we get back to the exact same point. So meeting this criteria, we could say that the point is negative 3 7 pi over 4. And the reason that that works is because if we start here with this point, we're looking for the angle 7 pi over 4. So we start at the positive direction of the x-axis, and because it's a positive angle, we go in the positive direction until we hit 7 pi over 4. So we get to this spot right here. Then because r is negative, instead of plotting a distance out from the origin in the direction of 7 pi over 4, Negative 3 tells us go in exactly the opposite direction, 3 units from the origin. And so at 7 pi over 4, but negative 3, we get to this angle, but we go in the opposite direction, 3 units from the origin, and we wind up at exactly the same point. So negative 3, 7 pi over 4 is exactly the same point in space as 3, negative 5 pi over 4. Let's find a different way to express it. Here we need a positive value for r and an angle for theta that is less than 0. So we need a negative value for theta and a positive value for r. Well, if we need a positive value for r, that means we do have to be out along this angle right here in the second quadrant. And if we need a negative value for theta, that means that we have to start over here at the positive direction of the x-axis and move this way in the negative direction. So we could move this way until we got to negative 5 pi over 4, just like the original point r would be positive because we'd go out a distance of 3 and we'd get to the same point. But that's what we were given, we can't just list the exact same thing. So the way that we fix that is that we continue moving in the negative direction for theta, we go around the circle another full rotation until we get back to this spot. So this was negative 5 pi over 4, another full rotation in this direction around the circle is a full negative 2 pi. So negative 5 pi over 4 plus a negative 2 pi, or we could say negative 5 pi over 4 plus a negative 2 pi would be minus 2 pi, but instead of calling it minus 2 pi, let's call it minus 8 pi over 4. 
This is the same as 2 pi, but it gives us a common denominator with this here. The result there is a negative 13 pi over 4. So negative 13 pi over 4 is going to be our angle. That's going to have a start here, go all the way around one full rotation, and then back up here to this spot where r is positive 3 coming out in the same direction. So the point we want there is r positive 3, negative 13 pi over 4, which is also the exact same point in coordinate space as negative 3, 7 pi over 4 and 3, negative 5 pi over 4. The last way that we're going to be asked to express this point is with a positive value for r and a value for theta that is greater than or equal to 2 pi. So because r has to be positive, again we're going to be out here in the second quadrant moving from the origin out toward this spot, a distance of positive 3 units, so we already know we're going to have positive 3. And then for theta, theta has to be positive and it has to be greater than 2 pi. So if we start here at 0, it has to be greater than 2 pi. We have to go one full rotation around to positive 2 pi. And we can think of 2 pi as 8 pi over 4. And then we want to keep going until we get back to the angle. So we're 8 pi over 4, 9 pi over 4, 10 pi over 4, 11 pi over 4 gets us back to this spot. So 3, 11 pi over 4, which is also the same point in coordinate space as these other three points that we already found. Could you use some extra help with math? Click the button to head over to calculusexpert.com. It's where I've collected and organized all of my best resources, including exclusive videos, notes, quizzes, and even formula sheets. It's the perfect resource whether you're struggling, or if you want to take your learning further, or even if you just want to save yourself some time studying. So check it out, because I know it'll help.